Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and this week we are excited to be in Northern Indiana, here at the headquarters of KZRV. We're actually gonna tour their Durango plant so we can share with you how they make a fifth wheel trailer from start to finish. So stay tuned. KZ has been building RVs for the past 50 years. The company operates a sprawling campus in Shipshawana, in northern Indiana's Amish country, where it builds each of the RVs in its 12 product lines, including Connect, Escape, Sportsman, Sportster, Durango, Venom, Sonic, Stratus, and Sport Trek. This is accomplished in nine factories on the campus, encompassing 530,000 square feet of manufacturing space which also includes numerous other facilities, including the lamination plant, customer service center, corporate administrative offices, and more. The company employs over 600 workers, many of whom have been with KZ for decades. As Durango Fifth Wheel owners ourselves, we contacted KZ to ask for the opportunity to share with our grand adventurers the detailed process of building an RV from the ground up. We're following Nebraska native Brent Froman, KZ's general manager, through the Durango plant at KZ's campus in Chipshawana, where they produce an average of 10 Durango units per day. Brent is going to lead us through the entire process to build a Durango fifth wheel just like ours, from start to finish, while explaining everything along the way. It all begins right here at this door, where raw steel frames enter the plant and start their journey to become a fifth wheel camper for your family. Okay, uh, right here uh, in this station here, this is actually gonna be chassis prep. So we actually get a raw chassis. So the raw chassis is actually gonna be brought in. Uh, raw chassis, uh, uh, as far as the running gear and everything gets put on, 6,000 pound axles, leaf springs, your Equiflex suspension gets put on, 16 inch tires uh, get put on next uh, that you do have in this station. You can see that they're putting in holding tanks. That's typically always going to be up towards the front area is where the holding tanks are. Wiring and everything for, uh, for the tank area. Anything that needs to be tied together, that's all going to be wired here. Some of the plumbing and everything, that's going to be done here. Uh, you see the, the, the slide-out mechanism uh, that you're able to see right there. Uh, it's an electric slide mechanism. The outriggers here. Uh, that the floor sits on. Um, and then obviously you can see here the hitch for us in our half ton series. And this is actually what we're looking at is a half ton frame. But a half ton series, uh, you actually have uh, uh, the hitch area and it's actually welded directly into the frame. Uh, really here in both of these stations here, uh, the floor and everything uh, is actually going to be welded together. Uh, the aluminum frame floor, 5 inch tongue groove decking gets put on, uh, plumbing and assembly and everything gets put on. Floor going to be as insulated uh, and then we actually have the insulated floor and everything. It's all going to be one piece. It's actually framed over and actually sat down directly onto the uh, chassis here. So that's that we're actually what we're looking at here. And another thing to be able to talk about and be able to see is these are actually carriage bolts that are actually fastened into the outrigger. And like I tell people is, it, it, if you think of the frame kind of like your house, you have footings on your house, the frame, the outriggers, that ties everything together. That's gonna tie your floor together. We then take the sidewalls and that actually sets down directly right on top uh, of the floor. And then we actually build from there. So it's very similar to your uh, home construction and how that's going to be built. 
Uh, right here in this area, obviously, the linoleum floor and everything has been put down. It's glued down. It's stapled down uh, that you have. It is all one piece, so you're able to see as it is all one piece, all in the main floor. And then also the upper deck floor is also linoleum. Uh, slide room prep and everything is done here at this stage uh, in the process. Unlike many assembly lines, the trailers built here don't follow a moving conveyor system. Instead, work is completed at each station in the process, then the units are moved by hand on dollies to the next station down the line. This here, they're actually going to take the sidewall that's on the cart here. This is actually built over in our lamination facility. But the nice thing that you're able to see here is they actually hoist the sidewall up. They actually take it directly over, and they're actually going to set it down directly on top of the floor uh, of the fifth wheel. So that's what gets done there uh, that we're actually watching them do. So the nice thing is it's all one piece uh, sidewall that gets fastened down and put down right on top. It's an aluminum frame construction. Uh, the sidewall is aluminum frame, high density block styrofoam uh, that we have. The other thing is the fiberglass on the exterior. That's actually a Lamalux 1000 fiberglass that we use. We use all 100% Lamalux out of Germany. Uh, fiberglass, we've used that for 15 plus years here at KZ and, and just feel that it's just uh, a really great uh, uh, fiberglass product on our sidewalls. So what do we got going on here? Uh, right here, it's actually the sidewalls and everything just got put on. Okay. Sidewalls actually got put on the chassis that uh, rolled over, uh, and it's just going to be, it's all going to be fastened and bolted and everything down right to the floor and to the frame. And uh, those are those have. outriggers on the frame we were talking about earlier. Exactly. The outriggers are the ones that actually hold the floor down. Uh, and then obviously then the sidewall will actually then go down right Lay directly on top onto of the, the, yep, and it just goes right on top. Well, let's go take a closer look. Perfect. Let's do that. Uh, right here is a perfect shot where uh, we're showing how the sidewall and everything is tied in directly into the floor. One of the other unique things that we do here at KZ is we actually stuff this bottom tube with wood. So the nice thing with that is when we go and we screw in uh, into this, it actually has a bite and everything, and there's actually solid wood that we stuff in that aluminum tube. We do this on the bottom, and then we also do this on the top for the rafters that we have. So it's kind of a unique thing. Not everybody does this. Not all manufacturers do that. But it's definitely one of the things at KZ that we feel is important because it really kind of ties your floor, the sidewalls, the chassis, and everything together because it's solid that you're uh, actually screwing into. Uh, so really directly right behind us is where your interior walls are going to be built and everything like that. Uh, and then right here is where the interior walls in are staged. So these are actually staged here for this unit. They're actually going to pull the wall over, pull it inside uh, to be able to just like what's happening there. So, and then really it's just a matter of him putting the interior walls and tying everything together uh, as happens in here. And then kind of if we look over in this area directly right over in here, it's going to be where the cabinets and everything are made. So this is the cabinet shop over here. So all of the cabinets and everything are made, they're staged uh, and everything like that so that it's easy for production to be able to come over and grab them and be able to put them directly in the unit uh, that happens. Uh, really as it moves along the track system here, the unit really starts taking shape from the standpoint of all your cabinets now are all in that you're able to see here. Plumbing fixtures and everything get tied in uh, that you're able to see, but it really starts taking shape before we get into the slide out area where they put the slide outs in. Uh, so right here in this area is the roof assembly. Uh, you're going to see here them putting on the ceiling paneling that's happening here in the roof assembly. Uh, and once, once it gets fully completed and everything in the roof assembly, it actually gets staged off here to the left. Uh, where once it's done, then we actually take the whole thing and it hoists it up and it takes it over and it sets it down right on top of the next uh, fifth wheel coming down the line. 
This is going to be right here at this stage. This is going to be rough uh, assembly here. And really, I guess from the standpoint, it's going to be the TPO or the Dicor rift membrane gets put down here. You know, clearance lights get fastened down. You can see there that the seams and everything, they've all been sanded and everything for any high spots on the seams. Uh, slide out prep. Uh, as far as the seals and everything get put on uh, in this station, uh, that happens. And then once uh, everything is done on the side uh, for the, the upper prep, uh, you could say of the fifth wheel, and then they're gonna go ahead and put glue down, and then the die core, this right here, the die core roof membrane, that's actually gonna get put down over the top. And it's actually a one piece membrane that we do. Uh, it actually carries the Dicor roof membrane that we have. It's actually called a Tough Flex, and it actually has a lifetime warranty on it. And it looks like here they're actually getting things prepped. They're actually putting down the seam tape over the seams, and then the next stage would be actually taking uh, uh, the roof, uh, uh, this Dicor roof material, and putting it on over the top. So I think we should just sit here and watch them actually pull it across and put it down. As we're looking at uh, them putting on the roof membrane that you see, you can actually see where the roof membrane actually goes over the sidewall. Like I tell people, is that kind of gives the coach an umbrella effect. So rather than it just stopping at the rail line or just at the very top, it actually goes down about two, three inches past the sidewall. And, uh, and then they're going to attach the rain gutter on. Uh, so it really gives the coach an umbrella effect because the roof membrane is all one piece, all continuous, and actually goes over the sidewall uh, and the rear as well. So now we've got them putting on this rear rain gutter right now, like what we were talking about. Yep, exactly, and that's just that's uh, and that's kind of a unique thing that KZ has because really uh, a lot of our competitors they don't do uh, uh, a rear rain gutter, uh, and it's just something that we've done uh, for many years. We actually tie that rear one into that trough area, and we actually have the water trick down off off of the corner uh, that it does. So. A lot of them have it trickle off the sidewall. We have it trickle off the corner to eliminate the black streaks and everything like that that uh, a lot of times that you get. Right here, too, as they're pushing it over, uh, the ACs get put on, vents get put on, on top. Uh, your roof ladder gets put on. Uh, everything just gets pulled off on the cart system uh, and fastened down. It's going to be mounted from the top side. Uh, and then actually fastened and everything on the inside. This is going to be uh, where we're at here. It's going to be in sidewalls area. Uh, off in the distance here, they actually just got done actually hoisting it over and actually uh, uh, installing it right here. But definitely off in the distance here, that's where they're going to actually assemble all of our sidewalls. And it's really just going to be a, a, a similar process to how we've been doing the frame and everything uh, and the building process as we go. Sidewalls are going to be used. Uh, interior walls, the paneling, the roof decking, uh, and everything gets put on uh, in this station. And then they're just going to pull them over, place them into place, and fasten them in. At this point, uh, the guys right there, they're actually taking some of the electrical work uh, from that was in the underbelly area and fishing it up through and tying it in that you have, and then obviously looming it together right there. Right here is going to be a perfect uh, of them putting on a front cap. And they're just actually going to hoist the front cap up into place. They've got the guys up on top in the roof area that are help uh, tying it in, running wires through that they need for clearance lights and everything like that. The cap actually gets pushed in and fastened and everything, and then they'll actually just screw it into place uh, up at the top, and then they'll kind of work down with the molding and everything that actually gets uh, fastened and put in. in this stage, it's actually going to be our midline water testing that we have. And what happens here is we're just going to pressurize all of the water lines, pressurize the system to make sure that there's not any leaks. 
uh, and that just happens midline. So about halfway through, I guess, the plant is where this is happening right here. But you can see all the gadgets and everything, city water connection, if we kind of would pan over here, uh, kind of to right there, city water connection where you would actually connect there at the campground, and then all the water testing gets done here. LP gas line also gets tested right here uh, that you have, but it's just kind of testing area is at the midline. Uh, really kind of over these last couple stations, uh, the graphics and everything get put on uh, for both sides. And then also then the windows get installed. You can see there, those are actually frameless windows. That was actually something new that we actually did for 2023 is we're doing frameless windows. So uh, all of the exterior wall or all the exterior windows are actually frameless. Uh, so right here, this is actually going to be station one. So this is actually the last uh, uh, production spot in the lineup. Once it gets done here, it's actually going to get pulled by a tractor and actually go directly outside. But as you're inside here, you can see that all of this, the hardwood fascia has been put on the slide out area. And that is hardwood fascia uh, that we have. Your lights, the furniture, uh, theater seating, everything's all been put in. Uh, your sofa's been put in. As we pan over here and we look here, the TV's been put in. Uh, that is a smart TV uh, that we're doing uh, currently. JBL soundbar, fireplace. And the fireplace, the nice thing with the fireplace is that do put out some electric heat. So as far as not having to run your furnace and everything, the fireplace, you can get that electric heat that you do have. This is gonna be the Durango that you're looking at here. It's actually the 301 RLT model. And in this particular, in the Durango lineup, that's actually got a big oven. Uh, that's actually a 24 inch oven uh, that you have, four burners, and then uh, a big uh, oven. You can actually uh, bake a turkey in there. And then right above that, that's actually a convection microwave. So in our Durango lineup, we actually uh, put in a convection microwave. A lot of our competitors uh, do not uh, offer even the convection. They just put in a regular microwave. And then just obviously right there to the right, uh, that is going to be uh, the residential refrigerator, and that's going to be an 18 cubic foot. And I will say the standard refrigerators, the 12 cubic foot gas and electric, it's just seemed to be becoming more and more popular with people wanting the residential. So that's going to be your residential uh, refrigerator right there. Obviously to the right of that, it's going to be your nice pantry system uh, that you have, hutch area that you could hook... Uh, your Keurig up, a coffee pot, anything like that that you want to uh, on this particular one. So really those are nice hardwood steps that you're able to see as we're going up into the bathroom and the bedroom area. Those are new, the hardwood steps are new for uh, 2023 models. Uh, as we look into the bathroom here, uh, that's gonna be a one piece fiberglass shower that is 48 inches wide, 30 inches deep uh, for that shower. You do have right there to the left, that is a porcelain toilet. And then uh, obviously then uh, a one piece seamless sink uh, that you have with the stainless steel bowl right there. And then all of our beautiful cabinetry and everything that we have. So as we move into the bedroom area, that is gonna be a 72 by 80 king size bed uh, that we have. Um, and then panning up to the shelves there those are new for 2023 you do have the 12 volt usb there's two little ports there to be able to uh, uh, add your cell phone there is also electric outlets one on each side uh, we do have a little bit of a cubby so if you did uh, need to put a cpap machine or anything like that you could have that uh, there um, when you look into the closet area uh, there in the closet area, that's actually going to be a washer off to the or off to the right, a dryer off to the left. There is a built-in hamper uh, that's right here. And from here at Station One, the finished units exit the building and are shipped to Durango dealers all across North America. So, uh, Aram Koltukian yeah. is the president and CEO of uh, KZRV. Yes. And, uh, I, Aram, I've got to tell you, your company's hospitality for us this week has been absolutely off the charts. So, first off, I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, we have had a wonderful visit to KZ. And it's been fascinating for us because we've gotten a chance to see how our own uh, Durango was made. And uh, that's kind of a fascinating thing for an owner 
uh, to have that rare opportunity to see one get put together. Yeah. Tell me, what makes KZ unique in the industry? If you were to pick out one or two things that you think differentiate KZ from everybody else, and let's face it, there are tons of players, what would those be? You know, I think, um, yeah, that's a tough question. What makes it different? There's so many different things. And I think it's the family. It, uh, everybody uh, that is here, uh, especially coming through a pandemic, coming through, mm-hmm. you know, some crazy tough times. Uh, everybody that's here uh, are the people that care, that have taken ownership of their brand, mm-hmm. um, and that they're fiercely loyal to that production plant. Mm-hmm. That's, uh, I think, that's rare air, air when you uh, look at it. And uh, well, we've unique. certainly we've certainly seen that over the past few days. Yeah, uh, it, it's remarkable how tight knit a family and community your company seems to have. Um, I would imagine that must pass down to quality and pride in what they're putting out. Yeah, it's quick. It's crazy. So, uh, you know, one of the things that only KZ does, uh, we're the only company, is we build in quality right from the get-go. And one of the things that we did uh, throughout all this, everybody talks about shortages and shipping containers and rail. Mm -hmm. Um, We actually inspect units every single week. We have a couple of different inspections. One's done down at customer service, mm-hmm. and one's done up here by the sales team and uh, QC, quality control. And part of their pay is actually tied to the quality audit. So 10% of their pay uh, is done on those audits that week. And it's a direct reflection of what they're building. So when you do that, it it really gives them incentive to build in a solid unit right from the get-go all the way to the end. And no one wants to give up money, so let's just get that bonus, let's get that quality bonus every single week, and it's uh, hugely important. Did you find when you instituted that program that it reduced the warranty returns and the warranty claims as a At, result? Oh, absolutely. We saw a direct result of lower warranty claims. So really, it pays for itself. Our customers are happier. And um, they're not having those small problems that uh, affect uh, their daily use of camping. And uh, it isn't just the short term, but it's the long term uh, problems that kind of creep up a, a year later or two years mm-hmm. later. And those are the ones that we wanted to stop. Well, with a two year uh, bumper to bumper warranty, hitch to bumper warranty, uh, that certainly gives a lot of peace of mind as well. Yeah, that it really does. Well, I've got to say, like I said, thank you. Um, This has been a spectacular visit. Uh, We really appreciate your hospitality, and uh, we're very proud to own a KZRV. Well, thank you. You've done a great job uh, being a spokesperson for us as you go out there and travel the country, and uh, it really means a lot to us that you've been here. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much, Aaron. So we hope that you found the tour of the KZ plant just as fascinating as we have. If you like this episode, it's extremely important to us that you give us a big thumbs up down below. And while you're down below, you're going to find the comment section and we would love to hear from you with your feedback on this episode. We air new outdoor RV adventure videos each and every Wednesday. So if you're not yet a grand adventurer, this is the time. Go smash that little red subscribe button right down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen and ring that notification bell to be sure that you never miss a grand adventure. We'd be honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. Until next week, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.